We have just come to a place that has been closed for 30 to 40 years and they just opened a few weeks ago. Oh, it's so I think what makes it so unique is just how close you're paddleboarding to the gorge. We are so excited to show you this place, but before we get here, there are a couple of spots we headed to first. Hi, I'm Stephen, and this is my wife Jess, and that's our little one Hunter. We had the crazy idea to convert a van into our new home, pack everything up, and drive all the way around Australia. We're about three months in, and making our way through outback Queensland here in the north. That is the worst roads I think Cooper has ever been in his entire life. <laughs> <laughs> this one is about to have her mind blown and see the biggest balloon she's ever seen in her life. <laughs> We're sitting on the dune, swimming through the gold. I will see you. We'll see you soon, alright? Oh, you're too busy with your friends. <laughs> Come on in. adventurous um, take, take off. off ever it's so funny how after all that it's just peaceful <laughs> I know <laughs> wow well, look at that view down there oh yeah we should probably let you all know where we are right now welcome to Burktown or should I say welcome high above Burktown as we slowly float over Australia's yeah. largest salt pans oh, this yeah. will be the start of our epic trip through outback Queensland and our very first date night together without our little one. So what's it feel like, um, first date night with, without Hunter? Yeah, I wish he could have come. <laughs> it does, it feels weird. I do like that this is our first time ever on a date night. <laughs> Just the two of us. It's on a hot air balloon at sunset. We're over the largest salt pans in all of Australia. say that date night was a success as we watched our first sunset spotting kangaroo paws drying in the mud below before we slowly descended to the ground. Hello! Hello. Hello. <laughs> we did it! <laughs> <We're on top. laughs> So this morning we have said goodbye to Burktown and we are heading to our next spot, Cobalt Gorge, and the scenery has been changing so much on the Savannah Way. I feel like we started off in the middle of the Aussie outback, just a barren wasteland, and then we'll be driving through the grasslands and we've just entered into greenery. There are trees everywhere, I guess, because we're getting close to the coast. But it feels so strange because it has been so long since we've seen this many green trees. last road to get us to Coldwater Gorge and it looks like it's going to be 70 k's of off-roading and I think this might be our last off-roading for a while so we're trying to enjoy it but Cooper is definitely squeaking in places that he's never squeaked before <laughs> so we've booked him in for a service in Cairns and uh, hopefully he holds up. One kilometre to go Baba! <laughs> so the quality footage they're going to get because it's so bumpy. <laughs> 
Oh my goodness, we have finally made it. Let me tell you, that was one bumpy ride, but Stephen has gone to check us in, and this weekend is quite special because it is Stephen's second ever Father's Day, so we have a couple of sneaky little ideas up our sleeve, don't we, Hunter? We may be cooking him breakfast, we may have a secret little present for him, and we have a pretty cool activity organised for him tomorrow. Hey. Yeah. Dad, dad. Dad, dad. Can you say dad, dad, dad? Dad, <laughs> Can you say it's dad, dad's day tomorrow? Can you say, I love you, Dada? Da. <laughs> I love you, Dada! Da. <laughs> that is the worst roads I think Cooper has ever been in his entire life, but we've made it. Totally worth it. Farnard just surprised me with an ensuite site. There's only six of them here, so rather than being where everybody else is kind of crammed in a little bit, we have all this open space kind of away from everybody else, but thought we'd just show you what a campground looks like out here. So we are all plugged up because it is still so hot out here. We need aircon going all the time. But have you seen the bathroom, Jess? No, not yet. Do, 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 do. Oh. Adventure? <laughs> She's like, I want to go this way. I want to go to the pool. <laughs> She's like, what, where are you taking? Got a toilet? A little tin shower? This is kind of cool. Very cool. A bit different to the random rest spot we stayed at before. <laughs> True, and uh, way less flies. So, as this is traditional owner land, you do have to head out on tours to go and see the gorge. And there's a couple of cool ways you can go and see the gorge. I think this is arguably the coolest. A stand-up paddleboard through the gorge. And I cannot wait to show you guys how unique this spot is. Definitely different to any of the gorges we've been to so far. So we just jumped onto our paddleboard. It's just after nine, so the sun... It's cool in here. It's really nice. And we're just about to go around the gorge. This is just so beautiful. You can also come on these little boats. I think it's so at least Jess can come, hunting and come see it. We'll do that tomorrow, but in the meantime, let's show you guys what it's like doing it on the paddleboard. Okay, Hunter, now that dad's gone, we've got some special business we need to do, don't we? <gasps> can you make us some pancakes? Wow, it is just so unique doing this stand-up paddleboard. It is so quiet out here. You just hear the water wading as you go through. And look at this, it almost looks like a little bit of an oasis out here. We've got some moss and some plants growing. Wow. And I think the best bit is that they limit it to like seven or eight people. So you just really have the gorge to yourself and it is so magical out here. Just look at this, some of it's only like two meters apart, so you get so close to it. Is that ready, Hunter? So we need to fill it up with water. Oh. <laughs> Whoa, water! Shake, 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 What do you think about that? Can you shake, shake, shake the chocolate for me? The gorge is about 800 meters long and it's about 45 minutes up and back. But it's 45 minutes of pure bliss. Just look at this, look at the shapes you're seeing just here. I think what makes it so unique is just how close you're paddle boarding to the gorge. Should we make big pancakes or little ones? We'll make big ones, huh? And then she put some chocolate bits in it. Ready? Oh, yummy. Ooh. <laughs> yummy. One, two, three. <gasps> Flip. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Gonna try a chocolate chip. Okay. <laughs> Is it pancake? <laughs> Baba, what have you got there? Dad's back. Hi. <laughs> We're making you pancakes for Bracky. Oh, yeah. How was it? Oh, it was so good. Was it? Oh, the best experience ever. Oh, I can't wait to see it. Hunter, did you help make pancakes? Oh, these look so... Can I steal a piece? <gasps> Yum. Oh. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers, Dad. <laughs> oh, this looks so good. This is your one. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> Best Father's Day ever. Give this to Daddy. 
What's this? Thank you. We're starting a tradition, okay? Okay. Oh. oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hunter, did you pick these out? Bobs, this is cute. Are these for Hunter? <laughs> Are we gonna have matching alien pajamas? Every Father's Day, you have to get matching PJs. What oh. do you think, Hunter? <laughs> Cleo is going to die. Do you like that? <laughs> okay, you can hang on to that. So we just spent all afternoon in the pool. Three, three. <laughs> <laughs> Do we see a crop <laughs> 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 Not oh. baby's cocktail. Yes, <laughs> and this one, I have a little baby Yoda running around. Come on, show everybody. Where's your Yoda? <laughs> ah, my chosen one. <laughs> I am Yoda. <laughs> my name is Yoda. It's <laughs> toy. Do you want to bring Emu or Koala or Wombat? Okay, you go get that one. Go get it. So I had way too much fun yesterday and we didn't come all the way out here for me just to have all the fun. So today we're going out onto the gorge. We're just not stand up paddle boarding. So instead we're going out and jumping in a tinny. That's what we call it, right? So we're currently going for a bit of a bushwalk up to the top of the gorge so that we can see the glass bridge and get a bird's eye view of the gorge below. So we come all the way out here on this big hike to come to a really cool bridge. And she's sleeping through the best bit. Oh. oh my gosh, this is weird. I know. It's so, cool. it's so cool how you stood up had a board right here. Yeah, how cool. Wow, it's so cool. It's cool how narrow it is. Yeah, that's the thing. It's really cool getting the other perspective of being up here because when you're down in the gorge everything just seems so big but flying over you could easily just miss it. It just looks like a little crack going through the mountain. Now where you do feel free to put your hands in the water and walk the gorge. There you go. Oh, what do you see? Yeah. Tour was great. Cobalt Gorge, definitely recommended. Grabbing some lunch grabbing some coffee, and now we're about to go along the world's worst road. Oh, he's a big one. Oh, this is so nice, and even though it is so hot out there, nothing beats a nice warm hot spring. Honestly, after the last few days of all the hikes and crazy adventures and driving that we've been on, I'm so excited to introduce you guys to Talaru Hot Springs. It's been closed for 30 to 40 years, closed in like the 80s and 90s, and only about a few weeks ago, they opened up to the public to come and see this. So I think this is probably the first time that this has ever been vlogged, and we're so excited to show you guys around. It's forgotten last night, and today we've just been spending the days hopping in and out of Hot Springs, and this morning we went on a tour with a local guide. So we're currently on a guided tour at the moment, taking us out to see these hot springs. So cool, didn't even know Australia had these. And we're just looking at the big pool here. You can get up to 68 to 70 degrees. And they even, he even showed us that there are some wallaby bones there, which means some poor unfortunate wallaby. <laughs> Loving it. Yeah. You love it? Yeah. You floating? It is so nice and warm in here. Of course, the actual hot springs, way too hot to actually go in there. So they've done, they've made some pools here and it's directly fed from the hot springs. So they've built these little pools and the little vent is right here. Woo! This is where I'm hanging out. It's so nice and warm here. I feel like Hunter is going to have the best nap after this. Look at this angle. Because I'm just vlogging. <laughs> I feel like it is amazing how many unique places that we have found so far on the Savannah Way. Like before this, we'd never thought of taking this drive, but it is amazing. And tomorrow, we're going to something I think may be even more incredible. Mm -hmm. 
So uh, we've come into a little bit of a problem. One thing we've noticed about Outback Queensland is there aren't any major towns with Coles and Woolworths. So uh, we've kind of been running on fumes a little bit the last few days. Eggs for breakfast? Hmm. Good choice, let's cook them up first. has made it. We've been driving on possibly the worst roads we've driven on this entire trip for the last week. And we we're going 20 kilometers an hour and I'm so excited to finally go a decent speed. <laughs> Talk about timing. <laughs> I feel like at this rate, <laughs> at this rate, we're gonna be able to rate every playground here in Australia because every morning when we go for our drive, if we go past a playground, we grab a coffee and hunt a place for a couple of hours. <laughs> oh no, don't push me, don't push me, don't push me! Ah! <laughs> <sighs> Just what I needed. <laughs> We've just made it to our final spot on the Savannah Way and we've just arrived at Undara and it's a pretty cool campground. You can stay in old trains, tents, of course we're just going to stay in Cooper but the reason we've come here is because we are going to be exploring some of the oldest ancient lava tubes and some of the longest in the world. They were formed about 200,000 years ago. It used to be around 90 kilometers straight of lava tubes. Fortunately some bits have broken down so it's down to 48 kilometers. There's about 68 tunnels here, nine of which you can go through, and today we're going to go through three of them. This would be how it forms, volcano erupts, and of course over a course of a period of time it forms over it, and then this is what we have today. Wow, we've just descended into one of the fallen lava tubes, so you can kind of just see this full archway. And I think the thing that's so magical is at the top, the way that the rock has been formed it almost looks like a mosaic as if an artist has come and painted the top of it. it looks so unique. So we are ending our final morning on this two week epic journey through the Savannah Way in Outback Queensland with a good old Australian breakfast. There is tea on the billy, we have to cook our own toast on the fire, there's eggs going, there's everything that we need out here in the middle of the Outback. I'm pretty sure there's some sneaky kookaburras that are trying to get some hunter's toast. No toasters in the Outback. This is going to be our little toast of today, this little contraption, going to put it in here. Warm it up on the fire. Can I have some coffee, please? Certainly good. Thank you. Amazing, you thank you so much. Cheers. Oh, right. Alrighty. Breakfast is served. Australian bush style. And some coffee for mum straight off the billy. This is definitely the best send-off for the mm -hmm. outback. Because going forward. Mm. We're going to the beach. <laughs> beans. Do you want to try some baked beans? Yum. No. Mm -mm. 